Last week, Warren Buffett announced that he bought gold. But did he really? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. <laughs> did Warren Buffett buy gold? Well, those four capital letters, G-O-L-D, are very important. Warren Buffett didn't buy the yellow metal directly. Like, like actually, I did when I picked up four more quarter ounce gold Canadian maple leaves. Mm. <laughs> Trying to finish off my maple musket and I used a great opportunity uh, last week to, to get these. Very happy I did. But no, Warren Buffett didn't buy gold. He bought gold, okay? The ticker symbol, G-O-L-D, for Barrick Gold Corp, the world's second largest miner of gold. And in this video, I'm gonna discuss what this move by Warren Buffett means to you and me, why it is and it isn't such a, a radical change in direction by Mr. Buffett and what you should be doing right now because of it. Now, according to Friday's regulatory filing, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway Fund took a new position in Barrick Gold, buying 20.9 million shares, or 1.2% of the company's outstanding stock, which has a current market value of $565 million, over a half a billion dollars. That sounds like a lot of money, right? Well, it is <laughs> to you and I, but actually it's not that huge when it comes to the Berkshire Hathaway Fund. This move was transacted by either Warren Buffett himself or by one of his two investing deputies, uh, Todd Combs or Ted Weichler. But that's just a distinction without a difference, guys. Anything this big had to be sanctioned by Buffett personally. Now, he also reduced a bunch of holdings in financial institutions like J.P. Morgan and Wells Fargo, not to mention completely bailing out on Goldman Sachs. <laughs> but we're not going to talk about those moves in this video. No, this video is about Barrick Gold. It's actually one of the mining stocks that I purchased back in March. And it has been doing really well. And I got it, I think, a little less expensive than he did. His purchase of the mining company was made back in uh, Q2. All right, so we don't really know exactly how much he paid for his stock, but we do know that it was 20.9 million shares valued at 563.5 million at the end of last quarter. Now, I am not better than the Oracle of Omaha, okay? <laughs> I'm just a, a, a regular stacker, okay? As of the making of this video on Sunday, August 16th, the shares of Barrick Gold went ballistic in aftermarket trading. It's nearing its recent highs as it closes in on $30 a share. So why is this such a big deal? Well, in the past, the billionaire chairman of Berkshire Hathaway cautioned against investing in gold because it's not productive. In fact, he almost ridiculed the yellow metal in the past. I, I will say this about gold. Uh, if you took all of the gold in the world, it would, it would roughly make a cube 67 feet on a side. So if you took all the gold in the world, we could have a cube that went down there 67 feet, uh -huh. 67 feet high, and that would be the whole thing. And if you offered me the choice of looking at some 67 foot uh, cube of gold and looking at it all day, you know, maybe <laughs> touching it, fond fondling it occasionally, you know, and then saying, you know, do something for me. And it says, I don't do anything. I just stand here and look pretty. Wow. If I didn't know better, I'd swear I was listening to Dave Ramsey. Gold as an investment sucks. Is this move into Barrick Gold a complete reversal for Warren? Has he now just found precious metals religion? <laughs> no. He has made plays on gold and silver before. In fact, back in 1997, he bought 129.7 million ounces of silver, betting that demand would exceed production. 
It was a good bet, actually. He bought most of it for less than six bucks an ounce, and he sold it soon after for profit. He said years later that he was the silver king there for a while. Maybe he should have stayed in a bit longer. Even Bill Gates seemed to have played silver better than Buffett did back then. There, historically, I did have some silver investments uh, that at a time Warren actually had some silver investments. He got out fairly quickly. You know, I, I stayed in uh, and did very well on silver. So why this move by Buffett last quarter? Well, I, I think it's kind of simple, guys. First of all, he's no dummy, all right? He's seen a huge jump in gold prices this year, largely boosted by investors pumping billions into the industry, especially new retail investors chasing, you know, what's hot. Guys, did you know that SLV and GLD are now on the top 10 ticker symbols among Robinhood investors? Wow, when did that happen, right? Unbelievable, gold and silver ETFs are just suddenly in vogue. That's the first reason. I think just the huge popularity in gold and silver too. Don't wanna to forget the uh, white metal here. Silver also has been just blowing up. Yes. <laughs> now the second reason though, why I think Buffett has gotten into this space again, is because gold miners are benefiting from surging bullion prices that are boosting profit margins as costs of production have largely been steadied. It's, it's making this an increasingly attractive space to invest in. Remember, mining stocks are a speculative play that you can you know, reap 2x, 3x, even higher ROI. It is a leveraged way to play in the precious metals space. And, and the third reason why I think Warren Buffett went in on this is because gold and silver have obviously gotten a boost as the Federal Reserve cuts interest rates and, 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 and you know, real government bond yields are, are, are terrible, right? All that is good for metals. We are entering a massive high-risk era in the 2020s where the value and I think eventual supremacy of the US dollar is in jeopardy, big time. In fact, Buffett already seems to get that fact too. They're right to be afraid of paper money. I mean, they, they, they have a very, their basic premise that, that paper money around the world is going to get worth less and less and less over time is, is absolutely correct. But, you just but, disagree with the investment theory beyond that. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 where they run from that, and, it, it, and they should run from it, uh, is, is where, in my view, they make the mistake. But they have a correct basic premise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Warren, gold and silver are a hedge against what you're talking about, against the dollar decline. Come on, you know that. Whatever. <laughs> the. The final reason I think Warren Buffett acted the way he did last week was due to him following an indicator that is actually named after him. It's called the Buffett indicator. I don't know if you know what that is, but you know, let me just explain it real quick. It's just a ratio of the total stock market value against GDP, gross domestic product. So the value of the stock market against you know how well our economy is doing, if you will. And as you probably know, GDP has taken a massive hit. Look at that ratio. We are 63% higher than the long-term trend line. It's, it's bound to come back to that line. The stock market is way overvalued and it's near the ratio where the dot-com bubble burst. This helps you understand just how risky the stock market is. I guess you could say he's just following his own advice, people. <laughs> As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Warren Buffett's move into gold was not a physical metals play. He, he didn't really buy this stuff directly. I frankly think Warren Buffett <laughs> doesn't like physical gold and silver for some reason. I don't know, maybe he does. Maybe he has a, a stack of his own. That uh, you know, if you if you know of Warren Buffett's 
personal gold and, and silver stack, physical metals? I'd like to know, but I think he's more interested in buying companies that are gonna pay dividends. That's what he did here. And it's really important. Buffett wants his assets to yield him something as well as appreciate in value. If you if you buy an ounce of gold today and you hold it 100 years, 100 years from now, you'll have one ounce of gold and it won't have done anything for you in between. If you buy 100 acres of farmland, it will produce for you every year. You can use that money to buy more farmland. You can do it, all kinds of things. For, for 100 years, it'll produce things for you and you still have 100 acres of farmland at the end of the 100 years. Uh, you could buy the Dow Jones Industrial Average for 66 at the start of 1900. Gold was then $20. At the end, it was 11400 but you'd all gotten dividends for 100 years. So a productive asset of any kind, a decent productive asset, is going to kill a non-productive asset over time. Yield, or production as he calls it, cash flow, whatever you want to call it. it he's right that those aspects are important consideration. That's why I invest more in property and private mortgage lending than I do when it comes to precious metals. And when it comes to yield, especially dividends, I believe that is what helped drive Buffett to Barrick. Barrick Gold's dividends are increasing and that yield is no doubt attractive to the Berkshire billionaire. So what does this mean in the short term? Well, I think most likely it's gonna cause gold and silver to spike, okay? Buffett is a trendsetter, folks. Everybody listens to him. Everybody, you know, at least, you know, you know, considers what he's doing. Analysts, you know, are gonna tout his move. Fund managers are gonna see this as a green light and other mining stocks are probably gonna surge as well. And physical metals like this, I think they're gonna rise this week. Let's see what happens. And, and what am I doing about it? Well, guys, I'll tell you one thing. I am not selling, all right? I'm not selling my mining stocks or my physical metals. I have another 10K sitting on the sidelines in my IRA ready to uh, go right into the five mining stocks that I purchased back in March. I wanna double down. I did a video of, about mining stocks not too long ago. Consider it as a uh, speculative play for maybe your IRA or other type of uh, retirement fund, maybe some extra cash. Again, be careful when you get into mining stocks like uh, Warren Buffett did. Anyway, I hope that this uh, video was instructive and helpful. Please leave a comment down there if you uh, have some more input on why you think Warren Buffett got into gold. And until next time, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.